Welcome back to Turn Bomb. Doing some more Zelda action. I'm here by myself. And I uh, we made it to Kakariko Village last time. We have Epona. We're doing pretty well. I went and rested up. Got that little bonus heart action happening. Um, I don't know. Bought some arrows. The odd thing here and there. Um, uh, I want to see what we can get here. I don't know what I can afford. These things are like more cosmetic. Although that hood's not... I like the hood a lot. What a steal. Let's do it. Even though the thing we have is probably way better. Limited edition. Cool. Oh, I can't afford like any of it. Well, maybe we'll wait. Like, this is gonna be an upgrade, so I guess let's do that for now. So I think we have those, those pants. Yeah, that's the pants we have. Alright, cool. So now we can be a little better. Well, I guess this is better to have for now. It kind of matches, too. Um, since this gives us a little bit of a climbing bonus. Um, so since playing uh, the last session, I... Oh, it's gonna be weird to get used to being weak again. I um, I've beaten every shrine in the game, so it's like I've I've done just about everything there is. What the fuck? Oh, it's a chicken. Um. So yeah, so now. Um, now we're just gonna probably do a bunch of shrines, try and get powered up. Want to get strong so that I'm not constantly dying. <laughs> and then we'll see. Um, see what we gotta do next. I guess we gotta go talk to Impa, um, next. But before that, we gotta master this shrine. Since it's... What the hell? Yeah, I've done them all, all the shrines, but obviously you don't get to, like, replay them, so it's like... Oh, my inventory's full? Come on. Um, so it's like, there's some I probably am gonna forget. <laughs> Alright, that's cool shield. I wish the Sheikah stuff was, like, more plentiful. Like, there's only, like, one shield and one sword, pretty much. Well, like, there's that sword, and then there's the, the sort of duality or whatever. Um, but it's like, that's kind of all you get. I don't remember this guy being blue. He's, like, the only one that's like that. <laughs> Uh, use the high top to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can strike back. Oh, so this is where I, like, learn my, like, strifing and stuff. Guess I should use a weapon. Let's not waste our awesome shield. Let's use this rusty piece of junk. This is like a training bot. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Get fucked. Do a backflip. Okay. I don't remember this being like a thing you had to learn. Like, I was still able to do this stuff beforehand, I think, right? Like. Come on. Come on. Oh, am I pressing the wrong thing? No, I'm not. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just do it. There we go. Build up your power, then really something. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, charge check. We could do this. This is easy. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna hit me. Guardian sword. Is that like the first guardian weapon we've got? It might be. I guess this is their one opportunity to like teach you how to fight since you don't they don't really have that in any other way other than just figure it out. So that's nice, I guess. 
I feel like I was already using those techniques though, so I don't think it like unlocked them. I think it was just a thing. A thing to tell you about things. Alright, there we go, there we go. I like the, like this outfit, like it's cool looking and all, like you'll feel like a like traveler and shit, like it looks very ninja and cool, but it sucks that it never really like does anything for you, like there's no like set bonus I don't think for the hilly and like everything when you upgrade them. If there is, it's not very helpful because I never use it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like as soon as you get far enough in the game, it's like, well, no more need for <laughs> all these this early shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanna go. I wanna play. So since it, since we played last, they've announced uh, a DLC for this, and it's coming out. Well, there's like they're doing it in like phases. There's like one in the summer of 2017 and then there's one in uh the winter and I, I can't remember how they divided it but in one of them i think it's the first one there's like a hard mode they're unlo unlocking which i'm curious to see if that means you have to like replay the game on hard mode or if you have to uh or if you can resume your game like as is but then like kind of convert it to hard mode like that would be really awesome because I don't want to like lose all my stuff, but I would like to try hard mode on like my own personal playthrough. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm sneaking up on the fairies, if you haven't played, like it's just uh, they run away if you like run up to them for whatever reason. So you have to uh, get your sneak on. Because this is the uh, the first great fairy fountain. First of many. See, look, it's like running away from me. Because I walked too quickly near it. And then she's like, yo, give me money. I really like the great fairies in this. Do I have that? Okay, yeah. Sure, yeah, here you go. They just look so cool in this, like, so much cooler than they've ever made them. They look like something out of, like, a Pseudo-51 game. <laughs> Especially this, like, crazy, gratuitous sequence. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. Hey girl, cool hair. She's returned to her former glory. Now she can help me. Sweet. So then, like now, she can upgrade my clothing. You for like a cost. Like you have to like give her. Like this needs bokoblin horns, and this needs also bokoblin horns, and so does this. So like we can upgrade all of this, at least once. So now our trousers are stronger by like two points so our defense goes up which is great and then uh once things get to a second their second level which like this doesn't have a set bonus i don't think these hylian outfits but like pretty much everything else does have a some sort of set bonus so like if you're wearing all of the uh the climbing gear and then you get a set bonus then you're you're able to jump and not lose as much stamina while you climb and things like that so it's kind of, it's a nice little uh you know typical like rpg thing like your clothes are better when you wear them in sets and like and then as you upgrade them they work even better together so yeah now she can't upgrade anything else so that's good <coughs> excuse me all right so what have we got now so then like now we have like 15 defense when we wear all this so it's like now I can wear this and drop to 13 and be faster climber, so it's like maybe that's what I want to do. But like, you know, right now I might as well go with defense, keep it cool looking. I don't get why they made the hood black when everything else is like red and green and beige and stuff. It's, it kind of looks odd with this whole outfit. But thankfully, when we get to Hatino Village, there's a cool thing where you can like paint your clothes. Uh, there's this guy who like dyes your clothes. And so then 
uh, you can make stuff whatever color you want. Like, obviously, with some items that you buy in a store, like the Hylian clothes, <clears throat> you can get multiples of them and, like, paint them all kinds of different colors if you want. Or you can, uh, you know, just, you know, just kinds of uh, goofy, like, color combinations and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a nice way to, like, customize it without being, like, just over the top. Uh, stamina. We'll go back and forth for a bit because I need a little more stamina so it can climb around easier. But then we'll go all out on hearts for a while. So we gotta we gotta get strong for that master sword section. Sweet. All right. Cool. So next time on Turbo, we're gonna go up and see Impa.